Good afternoon, church family. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It's a joy to greet you at this noon hour as we continue our Holy Week prayer experiences. I am certainly grateful to God that he has brought us into this year's Holy Week, even though we're in a unique season. Uh, we're so grateful that God has allowed us this medium of technology uh, to share one with another. Of course, we had a few glitches right at the 12 o'clock hour. And so we're a bit tardy, and for that we apologize. But I am so delighted to have two of my favorite brothers on here to pray for us. And then one of God's most gifted psalmists, whom we love so much at Weaver Avenue Baptist Church, uh, Sister Willie Mae Sharp, is here. Minister Willie Mae Sharp, and we're grateful for her ministry of music. Dr. Howard John Westy is with us all the way from the Alfred Street Baptist Church uh, in Alexandria, Virginia. We know him well. He's with us each and every year, just as Dr. Maurice Watson, uh, who is with us as well, and we're from Largo, Maryland. We're so grateful uh, that God has blessed us uh, to have them with us, and they have consented to share with us in prayer and music ministry today. So, brothers and sisters, I thank you so much for being with us. And if you don't mind, Dr. Wesley, will you please lead us in our first prayer? Sure. Thank you, Pastor Cosby. And welcome and grateful for the opportunity to connect with the church family that I love and the near dear to my heart in a time of prayer, especially during this dark season. As you all know, I've just kind of come off sabbatical and I want to do something a little bit different if it's all right with you, Pastor. I, I know we're in a Baptist tradition and we believe that the best prayers are the ones that are sincerely uttered just from our hearts. Uh, but I've been guided in prayer over the past few weeks uh, by a book called A, a Private Diary of Prayer um, by John Bale. And if it's all right, Pastor, there's a prayer I want to lift up uh, that just always touches my heart that he wrote, and I pray that it ministers to us sincerely. So listen to this prayer. Here I am, O God, humbly yours, lifting up my heart to you before whom all created things are as dust. You are hidden behind the curtain of our limited sight and hearing. In speaking to you, with the familiarity of a child to a parent and as friend to friend. If I couldn't speak to you like this, then I would indeed be without hope in the world in which I live. I have little power to do or control anything. It is not by my will that I am here or will one day pass away. All of that will be what I have chosen for myself, but all will be by your hand. It is you, O hidden one, who has given me my heritage, and you determine the place of my birth. It is you who have given me the power to do one kind of work and withheld the skill to do another. It is you who hold in your hand the threads of this day's life, and you alone who know what lies before me, what I am to do or what I am to suffer. But because you are my father, I am not afraid. Because it is your spirit that stirs within my heart, my most secret room, I know all that is well. What I desire for myself, I cannot achieve, but whatever you desire in me, you can help me to achieve. The good that I want to do, I fail to do, but you can give me the power to do what is pleasing in your sight. Dear Father, take this day's life into your keeping. Guide all my thoughts and feelings. Direct all my energies. Instruct my mind. Sustain my will. Take my hands and give me the skill to serve you. Take my feet and make them quick to do whatever you ask. Take my eyes and keep them fixed on your heavenly beauty. Take my mouth and give me the words to tell others. A little part of the work of the kingdom of my Lord Jesus, in whose name these prayers are said, amen. Amen. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, we had a couple of technical difficulties in the midst of that prayer, but we heard uh, the, the overarching gist of it. So we're thanking you so much for praying for us uh, on this Monday afternoon. And I'm going to ask Willie Mae Sharp to now lead us in music ministry. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word, 
just to rest upon his promise just to know the said the lord jesus jesus how i trust him how i prove him oh and oh jesus jesus precious jesus oh for grace to trust him more i'm so glad, so glad. that i've learned to trust him precious jesus savior friend and i know that thou art with me and you will be with me till the end jesus jesus how i trust him how i prove him more and more jesus jesus precious jesus oh for grace to trust him more jesus jesus how i trust him how i prove him more oh and more jesus jesus hallelujah precious jesus oh for grace to trust him more oh, for grace to trust him more oh for grace to trust god we trust you we trust you more Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for your ministry of music. We are so grateful to you for a blessing. The great hymn of the church. God be the glory. Dr. Maurice Watson is the pastor of the Metropolitan Church in Largo, Maryland. I want to ask you, Dr. Will you please now lead us to the throne of grace and prayer? Thank you, Pastor Cosby and Wheeler Avenue. I greet you today in Jesus' love. Uh, thank you again for inviting me to share with you today uh, in prayer. Let us go to the Lord. Father, how we love and bless and praise you. We adore you. We lift you up and magnify your name. For truly, Lord, you are worthy of the praise, the honor, the glory. You're worthy of our worship today, and we give it to you. We confess our many sins before you. We pray you forgive us, that you would cleanse our hearts from all unrighteousness. We thank you, Lord, that you continue to look beyond our faults and see our needs and we're not ashamed to publicly declare that we need you and we can't get along without you now father we pray for the wheeler avenue baptist church we pray for them this wonderful congregation that in these trying times that you would keep your hand a blessing your hand of protection your hand of favor upon them we pray for Pastor Cosby, that you would guide and lead him as he leads in this new normal that we're living in today. We not only pray for Wheeler Avenue, but I pray for Alpha Street and Pastor Wesley. We pray for churches all over this country and around the world as we face these difficult days. Oh God, we pray that you would be Jehovah Jireh, yeah. a God of provision, because 10 million people Mm. file for unemployment around the country mm. we pray lord god that you would supply their needs today we pray father for healing that you'd be jehovah Rapha. heal our land heal us of this virus we pray that you'd be jehovah nisi that you would give us peace in these trying and confusing times yes, lord. now lord we take solace in knowing that while this came to us by surprise it didn't surprise you because the reality is lord that you've got the whole world <laughs> in your hand yes lord and while we don't know what tomorrow holds lord tomorrow may hold 
life, but tomorrow may hold death. Mm. Tomorrow may hold sickness, but tomorrow may hold health. Mm. Tomorrow may hold sadness, but tomorrow may hold happiness. But while we don't know what tomorrow holds, mm. we know who holds tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And because you live, Lord, mm. we'll be able to face yes. tomorrow. Yes. We'll be able to face life mm -hmm. in these troubling times. Mm -hmm. Now, Father, keep us all in your care today Sweet. as we think about and reflect on your passion journey. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord God, to know that, that the same God that raised Jesus from the dead, mm -hmm. you're the same God that's going to get us through this. Mm -hmm. So, God, we don't wait until we see the final manifestation of what we're asking you to do. Amen. We're going to thank you now like it's already done. Yes, Lord. As a matter of fact, Lord, we thank you on credit because your credit is good with us. Yes, yes. And so, God, we give you the praise. We give you the honor and the glory. In the name of your son, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Dr. Watson. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Our great word. God's got this. Hallelujah. Will you please, as we close out our time of prayer, you just bless us one more time. I know you're able, and I hope you don't mind. You me. <laughs> no, thank oh, you. I thought oh, it was my yeah. turn to say. We'll, we'll, we'll wait until the next prayer call when we're off Facebook Live. <laughs> and you fine, fine. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You want me to sing, Apostle? Will you please? Yes, sir. Yeah. I believe God. Yeah, His true. word is true. I believe God, what he said he will do. I believe God, he will always come through. I will choose to believe. I believe God. Oh, I believe God. His word is true. I believe God, what he said he will do. I believe God, he will always come through. I will choose to believe. I believe God. One more. Oh, I believe God. His word is true. I believe God, what he said he will do. I believe God, he will always come through. I will choose to believe. I believe, I believe God. Hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah. And all the believers said, Amen. 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 Thank you so much, friends, for sharing with us in our midday prayer experience. And uh, we look forward to you sharing with us one more again this day uh, at the 6 p.m. hour. We'll share together in prayer and we'll be blessed by the ministry of prayer from Pastor Reginald Sharp, from Dr. Frederick Douglas Hayes III, and Dr. Lance Watson. And so we invite you to share with us as three of our brothers pray for us. And Nikita, Flock, Nikita Clegg Fox uh, will lead us in music ministry. So please share with us this evening at 6 p.m. Then we'll be back on our prayer call tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. We will not be on Facebook Live at 6 a.m. It's probably deleterious to try to see us at 6 a.m. So let's not try that. Uh, we will not look at one another at 6 o'clock. But at 12 noon, we'll be right back on Facebook Live and we'll be praying together tomorrow morning. Our Carolyn Knight is going to lead us in prayer at 6 o'clock, and then we'll have noontime prayer by Dr. Lane Flake and uh, Dr. Cynthia Hale and someone. And we got a whole bunch of folks who are going to pray for us, and we're excited about these wonderful brothers and sisters uh, who have chosen to give up their time to lead us in prayer. Again, my, great, my grateful uh, heart is given to uh, Dr. Maurice Watson, Dr. Howard John Wesley, and Sister Willie Mae Sharp as we share together during this holy week. Let's, uh, let's continue to pray together for one another, for ourselves, for our country and our world. And we believe this God who holds us all will hear us when we pray. 
Until 6 p.m. today, the Lord bless you and keep you is my prayer. Go in peace, my friend.